Okay, so right now we're working on a Toyota 7FG CU30. Okay, the complaint from the customer is that the SFT fuse is blowing whenever they put it on directional. All right, so this is where the uh, SFT fuse is supposed to be. See the amount of fuses that we have here. All right. Uh, Apparently it keeps on blowing whenever they put it on directional. Alright. Okay, so they already gutted it out, trying to find a short in the wiring. They couldn't find any. Um, you look at the diagram. So it's directly from the SFT to your directional, which is right here in the handle. Right here. And then there's no relays, it just goes down straight to the solenoid. So negative is always present, right, through the block. And then power, the positive is going to be distributed to either the forward or the reverse solenoid just with the switching. So right here, point of concern is also the diodes right here. Okay, so the diodes is going to be this guy. Right, so the middle is going to be ground. And then each one, each other wire on the end is going to be towards the solenoid. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to test out the diode, make sure it's not shorted. And now we're, to do that, we're going to disconnect this. And then we're going to put our meter on the uh, diode test to see if the diode, diode are still uh, intact. Okay, so right now I've disconnected the connector for the solenoid itself. I got my red lead on the uh, white with the black tracer and the black lead on the uh, blue with the white tracer. So right here on the diagram, this is going to be for I think the forward solenoid. So you see the diode, the anode is connected to the negative, and then number one is connected to the positive, which is your uh, cathode. So we're going to forward bias this uh, diode. So my expectation is from here to here, the red lead here, the black lead here. I should be reading 0.5 to 0.7 which if you look at it right now my reading is 0.5, 0.7, 0.6 and okay, so that tells me that the diode is good on the forward bias so now we're going to reverse it reverse it put the red on the blue white right the one in the middle okay and it's OL meaning to say that di that diode is intact okay do it the other side now red lead here on the middle okay okay you see that same reading okay reverse it again No, red, red here at the end. Okay, black in the middle. Okay, it's OL, so diodes are intact. So it's not shorted basically. So the cost per diffuse blowing is not going to be from the diode. All right, and now if there is a short within the wiring right now, all we're going to do is this. I'm going to connect one of my leads, doesn't matter if it's a negative or the positive on the lead. So I'm going to connect it to a negative on the battery, right? And the other lead to the load side of the fuse, right there. And this is going to be on resistance. This is probably one of the few times that I do resistance checks because it's blowing a fuse, right? I don't want to keep on blowing the fuse. So if there was a short in the wiring right now, then I should have continuity, right? So if there was a short in the wire, so the block in itself should be connected to the negative, right? If I have continuity between the negative and the block through the wiring right now, I should be seeing this at least, right? See, I'm touching the block. I see continuity, but on the fuse, load side of the fuse, if I do that, 
I got no continuity meaning to say that there's no part of the wiring harness that is touching uh, the frame or the block itself okay now let us connect the solenoids back again okay so no connections yet I still see OL so from here it has to pass through this part first okay oh, you know what disconnect it first we'll have to check the uh, switching first so the path of the current is from the fuse from the fuse it has to go to my directional levers first the switching part before it goes to the solenoid so right now we still have the solenoid disconnected I got no continuity to the frame let me put it in directional all right forward still ol reverse still ol so that would tell me that the switching here has no short to the frame anywhere from here down to the solenoid before it hits the solenoid there's no short to the frame okay now let's connect the uh connector again for the solenoid Okay, still OL, but let us now put in directional. We put in directional, you see on the forward side it would be 13.4, right? But when we hit the reverse, let's see, 2.6. Okay, that's a tad bit too low of a resistance. So, if we think about it, the fuse would always blow because there is a big uh, current. This, flowing through the fuse because of a low resistance and right now to me that's a very low resistance that would probably blow a fuse so on the forward I've seen it before 13 and that should be the right uh, resistance for one of the solenoids but on the reverse that's too low so 2.6 2.5 that would certainly blow a fuse so right now what we have to do is take out this valve block and see uh, the inside of that solenoid Okay, so we've taken it out with the measurement again all right so making sure it's not a wiring problem inside the bell block so this is for the reverse you see it's still 2.8 on the inside and on the forward 13.2 so this solenoid is partially shorted or there is a problem definitely on this one so we're going to try to replace this one and see what happens okay so we got another one so this is the replacement one although it's not brand new see 13.2 now it's even with the other one which is also 13.1 13.2 so we're gonna put it back and we'll see what happens okay we put in the other solenoid let's try it out okay put it in reverse okay put in forward See it drive. Okay. I guess that's a fix.